to inspire conversations with Kim Evans. Woo! And I am excited for this next beautiful and bodacious guest. My Ooh. guest that I have on this next show, April, as we close out April, is the beautiful Marcella Silva. Land, Baroness, and Women Speak leader. Marcella, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Kim. I am so grateful to be here for you, for all your viewers, and just for the wisdom that's going to unravel today. I'm, I'm excited to hear what it's all about. <laughs> this is an innovative show, and when I think of someone like yourself, the word that comes to mind is innovative. I think of innovative and your leadership. So viewers, let's get right to it. As you know, I like to always start my show with a brief prayer. Marcella, is that okay with you? 100%, 120%. So let's get this party started. I love to invite the Holy One in, dear God. I just want to thank you. Number one, we want to give you honor. We want to give you grace. We just want to honor you for your power, the creator, infinite one of this world. We just give you honor for your power, omnipotence, omnipresence, and just all knowing. First of all, we want to invite you into this webcast. We, this webcast. we want to invite you into this, and we want you to navigate and send it out to wherever it needs to go, as far as the east, as far as the west, as far as the south, as far as the north. And thank you for our guest, Marcella, in blessing her talent, multiply her mission and her calling. And may she be blessed and may she be very successful in what she's doing. God, we want to thank you for our podcast viewers and our listeners. May they, may they be transformed, illuminated, and may they be inspired by the words of this podcast. Thank you, God. Woo! Marcella, thank you for saying yes to be my guest on my April podcast. Welcome. You. Amen. <laughs> Bringing in the love, light, and oneness. Yes, 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 yes. I love connecting with beautiful, powerful women. And you definitely are that. And we're going to get into what makes you so powerful. Are you ready? I'm beyond ready. I can feel the power. It's Woo! vibrating. I'm feeling it. That's what I'm talking <laughs> ready about. ready to unleash. That's what I'm talking about. Before we get into that, let me read you a little bit of information about Miss Marcella. Mar Marcella Silver, I'm going to read your bio. Okay. Was born and raised in the rural mountains of northern Mexico in 2003 after earning a bachelor's degree in management information systems from the University of New Mexico. And because of our collegiate achievements, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory invited Marcella to take a full-time position as a software engineer in Livermore, California. This is a smart, brilliant woman that sits before you, ladies and gentlemen. In 2007, she began a quest for a real estate investment that would provide the return she desired for her future. Marcella eventually crossed paths with Valor Enterprises Incorporated and their exclusive land banking opportunity. We're going to talk about land banking. I bet a lot of people really don't even know what that is. And maybe some people do and want to know how to get into it. And we're going to actually demystify really what that is. In March 2008, Marcella purchased her first land investment through Valor Enterprises, Inc., using the funds from her 401k via self-directed IRA. Marcella has had tremendous success with her investment and subsequently found a passion in land banking. Marcella hung her real estate license with Valor Enterprises, Inc. in 2008, following her desire to share the opportunity to help others realize and gain that have been experienced by many throughout history, including her own family. I love it. I love the fact that you share with others how to create their wealth. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that today and how you can create wealth. 
Following this career switch, Marcella began to grow her public speaking abilities by speaking to groups throughout San Francisco Bay Area. In 2018, she wanted to take her speaking to a new level and ultimately found Woman Speak Circle. I can't wait to hear about that, which not only transformed the way she spoke, but changed her life in the way she never expected. We're going to talk about Women Speak. She has become passionate about Women Speak and the benefits she's received from it, and as a result, decided to lead her own Women Speak Circle to help heal, transform and change the world. Welcome, Marcella Silva, to Inspire Conversations. Woo! Take it away, girl. Take it right away. The, Wait, take it away. Around the house now. <laughs> ah, I love it. Take it away. Yes. I love it, Kim. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today. It is an absolute pleasure, like I said before. And yes, it's been a wild ride, but when you're open to the infinite possibilities of the universe, Amen. you just never know what kind of miracles will show up at your doorstep. Amen. 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 I am so excited that you are here today. I'm excited that you are sharing uh, just a glimpse of your experience. I know that you cannot cut, you can't share it all, but the two things that we're going to talk about is building wealth and also your women speak. I'm so excited. So let's talk about the beginning. What was your, what was your transformative moment? Or just tell me what was a pivotal moment that got you into land banking? Let's start there. Perfect. 2007. Yes, ma'am. I was sitting at my kitchen table looking at my 401k statement, thinking to myself, how the hell am I ever going to retire at this rate? Maria, turn your volume up just a little bit, Marcella. Just turn it just a bit. Okay. Let me see here. Just a bit. Can you hear me now? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Marcella. So I'm, I'm sitting at my kitchen table. Again, this is 2007. Yes, ma'am. Thinking to myself, the only way my 401k goes up is when I put money into it. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm never going to be able to retire at this rate. I have to do something different. This is not going to get me to the dreams of financial freedom that I have, not just scraping by or maybe even having to work at Walmart. I mean, I'm talking being able to live the life yes. in my older ages without worrying about money. Yes. So... At that time, my company, or Lawrence Evermore Lab that I was working at, they went through a major transition. They used to be run by University of California, then they got switched to a large private conglomerate. I'm not going to get into all those details, but in any case, what happened was they changed their retirement fund situation. Mm -hmm. So they were changing it from one type of 401k to a new type, and they were wanting me to roll over my old funds to the new 401k. And like I said, I'm looking at it. This only goes up when I put money into it. Keep in mind, this is 2007. Mm. Thank goodness. Mm. <laughs> Things happen in divine order. Mm. So I decided, nope, I'm not going to roll it into the new 401k program. I'm going to invest it in something real, something that actually creates wealth for people, something that is tangible, that I can see, that I can touch, that won't just, isn't just some made up, <laughs> I don't know, mutual funds that could literally disappear at any moment, right? I, I, I wasn't into that. I didn't have the sense of security and safety that I needed for my financial future. So I started looking for investment opportunities, started reading books, even got my real estate license, went to seminars about real estate investing, everything, right? Just really educating myself because I'm a nerd. I was a computer engineer. And along the way, I decided I really don't want to be a landlord dealing with tenants, toilets, and termites. Okay. I didn't have the time, resources, or just, I didn't want that stress. Mm -hmm. I saw my parents go through it. I've seen other people go through it. I wasn't interested in it. I'm not saying that it's bad or that it's wrong. It just wasn't for me. I wanted something that I could set and forget and that would grow in value without me dealing with it. Okay. So... I wasn't interested in doing fix and flips. That's more of a business than it is an investment. Then I happened to meet this lady at a seminar. I actually sat right next to her. She started telling me about land banking. I was like, 
what is this? Nobody ever talks about land banking. Nobody ever actually talks about investing in land. Mm. So I was very curious about it, especially because I grew up watching my parents invest in land. And I said, you know what? I definitely want to look into this. My parents are retired now, all because of the land that they invested in over the years, all in uh, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so I went, saw a presentation within like an hour. I was, this is it. I had that gut feeling that said, this is what you've been looking for. I knew 100% this is what I wanted to do. So I took my old 401k, Uh I rolled it into what's called a self-directed IRA Uh and purchased my very first property in March of 2008. Luckily, I took my money out of the stock market before I lost it all in the 2008 crash. Yes. Bought my property. Not only did it not go down in value like so many people assume it would, because land is very different than traditional real estate, it actually more than doubled in value within the first year. One so, year? Normally, it's the, it's, it's the number of seven. Are you serious? I it was like, what? <laughs> what? Land does not perform like traditional types of investments. It is a perfect, it's an imperfect market. Wow. And there's a lot of details that goes behind how that works. Got it. But it, it, it has been a wealth creator for people throughout history. However, most people, when they think about investing in land, they think it's only for the wealthy. Yes. And we well, are here work, to bring it to the average imper- investor. Yes. Help the average person create wealth through land. We have the insider information and knowledge on the how-to. I work with a company who's been doing this for over 42 years and have been creating wealth for tens of thousands of people in that time, and myself as well. So currently, I now own nine properties. My goal is to get to 20, at least. Is that that not, Marcella, is that nine land areas are actually nine properties as well as them that it sits on the land that you own nine individual parcels of land parcels of land thank you i'm investing i'm interested in making money not spending money i love tenants toilets and termites what happens with buildings they constantly need repair they're very expensive in taxes you got to have tenants you got to hope those tenants don't destroy the property it's a lot of Income that you'll have to spend on it. With my land, I have nine parcels. I pay less than $2,000 a year in property taxes, and that's it. Woo! It is going up without me doing anything. Are you listening to what she just said, ladies, lady bosses? This is amazing. How long, you said, your first parcel, you made an investment after 2008. After one in year. 2008. In 2008, the value of it m- more than doubled. Did you sell it or hold on to it? Or you kept hold on to it? The longer you hold it, the more it's worth. That's the way land works. It doesn't wow. go through market ups and downs like traditional types of investments I do. I love it. It works because they're not making any more of it, Kim. They're not making any more. It is what it is. So let's just... Let's just say we're IG and Jenny, and say we just point that globe around and just say we just spin it, because I noticed you were in Pleasanton when you really started. Where would you say the area in the Bay Area right now for people who are listening to this that, that are in the San Francisco Bay Area, where would the area be? I'm just curious if someone wanted to be a part of your team or to be, you know, to get into what areas would you would say, hey, South Bay Tech area? North Bay, East Bay, South Bay, where would you say? I'm just kind of curious. Just give us a general because I know you can't get into the specifics because we don't have that much time. Absolutely. You mean where would you invest in the Bay yes. Area? What area right now is hot? Well, let's let's reverse time okay. back 30 years ago. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I would invest in Milpitas. Okay, okay. I have, let me give you an example. I have an investor whose grandfather bought a piece of land, two acres, in 1980 for $200,000. That's a little on the expensive side. 
Our minimum investment is 25,000, by the way. Bought two acres for 200,000. All our friends said, why are you buying land? Why, why, you're crazy, why would you do that? He wasn't crazy, he was smart. Mm-hmm. Put it in a trust, said, this is gonna be for my grandkids and they can't touch it until my youngest grandkids turns 50. Fast forward, 2015, I'm giving a seminar about land banking. There's a lady who's a real estate agent, local real estate agent in Pleasanton, who's lived here her whole life. She's sitting in the audience and she's, she's like, I'm shaking in my chair. I was so excited because I'm realizing that my family was natural land bankers. What? It was her grandfather that bought this parcel of land. I love it. In 1980, guess how much they were selling it for in 2015? How much? I'm a faint. million and what did they do with that land nothing they just sat there no way no way no way no way no way that's land banking the bay area is a perfect example of a missed land banking opportunity it's too late there's no more land left Mm. all the equity has been squeezed out if you can even find any land you know, and what I love about what you do, Marcella, is that realtors, they'll paint a picture. Either they'll hold their shingle a residential realtor, they hold their shingle as a commercial property realtor, but very few do you ever hear them holding their shingle as a land baroness. Why is that? Very rare. You're the first one that I've met that's actually in that category. This is amazing. This is amazing. Do they it's do very that? specialized knowledge? Yeah. Yeah. And process. Yeah. And requires yeah. just I mean, like I said, the the knowledge and the understanding and the amount of information that you have to acquire and the understanding of economics. Mm-hmm. That's a huge piece mm-hmm. of it. And understanding of land. Not all land is good land. Not all land is developable land. Two pieces of land right next to each other could be worlds apart in value. Exactly. So even though it's real estate, it's completely different than traditional real estate. Absolutely. And I put my money where my mouth is. How many of those realtors that you're talking about actually own commercial buildings, actually own the homes that they're selling? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love the fact that you have parcels that you own, so you actually speak and live what you speak, what you preach, and that's a beautiful thing. So if someone is coming to you as a consultant, and wanting to do business with you, they're actually knowing that you're very knowledgeable, that you're going to guide them in the right way, and that you'll be able to consult with them and to help them to make the best decisions. Um, Absolutely. Let me just fast forward real quickly, and then I would love to show just a small clip on Brian Tracy. I I thought that was amazing, if you don't mind. What was it like? What was the feeling? Let's get into the feeling when you sold your first parcel. When you got into land banking and you made the investment and it was positive and you got a great return, what was that feeling when you turned that over from your first one? Let's go there. Well, I'm going to stop you right there. I haven't sold any of them. Not that I could have. I chose not to. I love it! (laughs) Because the biggest mistakes real estate investors make is selling too soon. So what is your feeling knowing that they're multiplying? What oh my gosh. Does it make you feel when you look at your asset column and you see the line going up and the line not going down? Let me ask that question. How does that feel? Empowering? Yes. And the safety and security I was originally looking for. Amen. Hey. I created it. I wanted it. I was looking for it. I put it to the universe wow. and it brought it to me. Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. And is there information or website or URL link that you would like to share with other women, how they can get in contact with you? If they have a 401k, because we have a lot of women that are transitioning into their from their retirement that are looking to say, where do I park my money? Mm-hmm. Where do I make my investment? Where would you like for them send them someplace? Where we want to send them to? You go, ladies. All the power to you. You have no idea how many women I've helped, especially women who left their husbands. <laughs> you know what? 
Dad, it's time for me to take control of my financial situation. And this feels right to me. And that's what I always ask them. Does this feel right to you? I don't want you to do anything that doesn't feel right to you. It's my most, most important thing is that you feel safe and peaceful going into a peaceful investment that can actually create wealth. And so dirtisgold.com. Okay. Amen. Amen. Go there, put your information in. I'll send you information on a webinar. There it is. Dirt is gold. And I will also list that information. Am I allowed to show this clip, Marcella, of of Brian Tracy introducing you? We got to talk about this because I just think this is amazing. Can we talk about this clip? Let me see if I can roll it back. It's Um, not that one. It's up a little bit. Scroll up on the screen. Let's talk about this one right here, because I think this speaks volume. I'm going to play just a few seconds of that. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. My buddy, Brian. My name is Brian Tracy. Uh, Let me set this up, by the way. This is the Brian Tracy that's introducing Miss Marcella Silva. So I want to let you all know, this is a type of the woman that you, that's before you. Okay. Let's talk about this. Yes. Let's, it's let's, my let's show this. To introduce to you my friend Marcella Silva. Marcella is a certified land banking specialist, helping individuals create wealth by investing in strategically located land in some of the highest growing areas of California. In 2007, Marcella made an investment that in less than eight years secured her financial future forever. All it took was investing in land using an old 401k that was sitting there doing nothing. Shortly after making her initial investment, Marcella saw the wealth generating power of land and retired from her career as a software engineer to share her discovery with others, including me and possibly yourself. I'm so impressed that she left a secure job and created a successful career helping others build wealth during the worst financial meltdown our country has seen in decades. So let me ask, do you have a retirement account or investments that aren't meeting your expectations? Are you just now starting to take your finances seriously? Would you like to get on a solid path to financial independence? Marcella is passionate about giving people hope that a comfortable retirement and financial freedom are possible and helping them to get on the right path toward financial independence. By investing in land, in the right places and in the right way, you can create wealth, not only for yourself, but for your children and grandchildren as well. Land is a solvent investment. It has created wealth throughout history, and it can be the key for diversifying your investment portfolio. With uncertain financial times being the new norm, people want more certainty as they plan for their future and their retirement. Land is a tangible, safe, secure, and conservative asset that will always be there for you. It continually grows in value and can help you achieve financial independence. Now, there's a wrong way and a right way to do things in life. When you want to invest in land, be sure to seek expert help. Marcella and the company she represents are experts in investing in the best land properly and in the right areas for maximizing your investment. With three decades of experience providing this solid investment to individuals, the company has built a stellar track record and reputation. The best part, it's affordable. Please contact Marcella for more information on getting started. Marcella is a sought after speaker to real estate groups and organizations as well. So contact her today to book her for your next event. Andrew Carnegie once said, 90% of all millionaires became so through owning real estate. Land is the basis of all real estate and it is the asset that truly holds its value. Hello, my name is Marcella Silva. Thank you for watching the video today. Did you know on average, Americans have less than $8,000 in their savings? As a matter of fact, 70% of Americans have no savings at all. They can't afford an emergency, much less retirement. The fact is, 
you need an enormous amount of money to avoid running out of it when you retire. Do you have the money you need to help you reach your retirement goals? Once upon a time, I was hopeless about my retirement. I used to have a good job working for the government as a software engineer. And in 2007, I vividly remember sitting at my kitchen table, looking at my old 401k statement, thinking to myself, wow, it seems the only way this goes up is when I put money into it. I knew right at that moment I needed to make a change. And after searching high and low, I found the perfect investment. And it is something I walk on every single day. It has created wealth for people throughout history. You might know of it as land. I am now going to share three key points about why today's dirt is tomorrow's gold. Number one, wow. the best way to invest this in land to get security is return is to invest in high growth areas. I this love it. This type of investing I is known as love it. land banking. Let me see Douglas MacArthur there. describes it best when he said, he said All a man has to do to get rich in America is find out where people are going, get there first, buy land while it's affordable. So when you look at this, Marcella, land is dirt. Number one, you were introduced by Brian Tracy. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna bow down one more time. And when you look at when you made your original investment. 2007, 2008, and right now we're 2020, 2021. We've now surpassed COVID. We're into this middle to towards the end of the pandemic. Do you still feel that it is a notable way to make or to create wealth invested in land? As we can see that it is. I just want to just put that question out because some people will ask that. We're in the middle of COVID. We're in the middle of a pandemic. But we know that real estate is selling like crazy. I don't know any realtor in the Bay Area that's not making money. They're making money like hand over fist in a pandemic. Explain. In a pandemic. That is a loaded question. In a pandemic. Well, well let, let's just look at what's going on with those realtors. There's lack of housing out there. Why is there lack of housing out there? 2008, they stopped building homes. Guess what? Population didn't stop growing. As population keeps growing, you need more and more land to support that population. That is true. That is true. California has to build 3.5 million new homes by 2025. Wow. To keep up with the supply that they need. They're already behind. Wow. And to catch up to where they should be. Wow. How much dirt? Is that exactly how much dirt is that? It's huge, yeah. huge amounts. Okay, that's one. Number two, pandemic hits. Everyone steps, starts buying stuff online. E-retailing is speeding up, right? It was already coming onto the picture as it was, but pandemic sped it up. Amazon is slowly putting a out of business all these other companies companies have to start doing business online or they're going to go out of business how do they make that happen how do they provide goods to people within a 24 to 48 hour period by building massive fulfillment centers that require what a lot of land exactly. Exactly. <laughs> to provide these goods to people yes yes and I mean, I can go on and on and on for all these different things, but let us let me take you back to that one story I was telling you about that lady whose family bought land in Fremont that they sold for $7.5 million. Okay. They were trying to figure out, what are we going to do with all this money? Mm -hmm. Should we buy rentals? No, we shouldn't buy rentals. She's a real estate agent, by the way. No, we're not going to buy rentals because of all the stress, headache, and I don't want any of my renters growing marijuana in it. That's what she had said because she'd come across that issue before. Mm -hmm. They thought about buying a commercial strip mall. Okay. Okay. She told me last year, 2020, we're on a Zoom call. Marcella, thank God we didn't buy a commercial strip mall. Mm. That probably would have put my mother in an early grave because we likely would have lost all of our wealth because of COVID. 
we lose the tenants in our commercial building, how do you pay the note on that? Exactly. I know people who lost their commercial building because Burger King went into it. That's Burger right. King ended up going out of business. Now they have an empty bu building that they couldn't keep up with the mortgage. They lose it. Exactly. Meanwhile, she they bought land, multiple different properties. Got one it. of them, just one of them, they bought for around 500000 it got rezoned to mixed use commercial, which is like the highest possible zoning. Think Santana Row. Mm -hmm. That would make her land worth conservative 15 million. Mm. And what did they do for that? Nothing. Nothing. But invest with experts. Love it. And trust their gut. It is a different way of thinking. It's like we really are elevating our mindset. And I think one of the ways that we create wealth is that we have to be open to multiple opportunities, be spirit-led, think outside the box, right? And be very creative, right? And on that same note, as you began your journey in being very creative and building your wealth consciousness, you landed another love. And that another love, which you landed, is women speak. So from land baroness to now you're like, wait a second. I now need to share some of this passion and this creativity with other women. Tell us how you journeyed into that. Absolutely. How did that come about? Well, you know, being in, having your own business, talking about land banking, it required me to do a lot of presentations. Yes. If I rewind all the way back to college, I was so scared of uh -huh. speaking up in public that I didn't even raise my hand to ask the question when I was sitting in class. I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can believe that. Traumatizing. I don't think I can believe that. <laughs> believe it because I remember. That's hard to believe. I don't think I can believe that. No way. No way. Traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> if I if my then, myself then could see me now, I'd be like, no, no, that's not possible. <laughs> that's not me. If I could see myself those many years ago, no, 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 <laughs> no. So traumatized public speaking, right? Fast forward, I'm just kind of slowly but surely stepping outside the box, making that box bigger. Join networking groups. You mm. you interviewed my husband Rick Silva. Mm. Um, doing presentations there. Mm. Slowly started doing more and more presentations and got better and better and better at it and more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Then I got to the point where like, okay, I'm not feeling like I'm gonna die when I get up on stage. I'm good, but I'm just doing it to a PowerPoint presentation. I'm not really. I didn't feel like I was inspiring someone. I want to be like Tony Robbins. I want to get up there and inspire people. Okay. And so, once again, that's what I want. You put it out into the universe, and infinite possibilities are possible. I go to this networking group. This was in 2018. And I happen to meet this lady who starts telling me about Women Speak. I'm like, Women Speak? What the heck is that? I'd never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. What is it all about? She tells me, I'm like, yes, yes, I need that. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Sign me up. Mm -hmm. Women Speak is a 16-month program mm -hmm. with a new curriculum every single month. And that is if, if someone wanted to go through the whole 16 months, they can be in it as long or as short as they want. And I ended up getting a certified Women Speak, becoming a certified Women Speak speaker, and ultimately just loved the journey of it and the process of it and the growth through it. I have been through so many self-growth things, seminars, programs, etc. Kim, none of them have created the growth that Women Speak has. Mm. The confidence that I built, and you know what, the ultimate trust in myself mm. is unlike anything. And now I, I can get up and speak about anything because I trust myself to be able to do it. And I get out of my head hmm. and I get into my heart and I speak from my heart and I speak my truth. Hmm. And I do it in such a way that it, it, it's empowering. Hmm. And it's this beautiful, what we call a, a female spiral. 
Mm. Men typically think in linear A to B. Right. Women are more of a spiral brain. You start speaking and you speak in a spiral and it goes up and up and up until you come to this just total brilliance and wisdom. When you're truly in your heart and you allow yourself to flow, when you're with that infinite power that resides in us, really, we transmute. I love it. I love it. How long did it take you to find your inner truth? Once you started with Women Speak. So you started, you know, I got to say it was there. It was always there. Oh. It was just not allowing it to come through. Mm -hmm. Because, oh, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. Nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Mm. Oh, I'm going to sound stupid. Oh, I'm worrying about what everybody else is thinking about me. So then you hold yourself back and you don't speak. Or I'm not going to, or I'm not going to make sense, it's, right? All, all this it's illusions so and fears that I got going on in my head. It's so many angles we can slice. This is great. The, the number one, the number one I would like to, the number one I want to ask you, why are so many women not speaking in their truth? Culture, society goes back thousands of years, <laughs> repressed. I mean, there's so many reasons, but I, really, it's a it's it's a it's a long lived issue, yeah, of repressing women because we are freaking powerful, yeah. And the wisdom I've seen come out of women, I mean, you you get chills, you get goosebumps, and you're just like on fire hearing it, and that's what they've repressed, yeah, over the centuries, yeah. They're scared. And what happens? When a woman is ignited and she gets into the deep levels of her subconscious and brings that into the conscious and she begins to speak her truth. Tell me what does that look like? Tell me what does that look like, Marcella? What does that look like? Go ahead, speak. She's an alchemist of her oh, life. Yeah. She transmutes. She becomes the beautiful butterfly. Yes. A soulful success. Yes. She is who she's always meant to be. How the creator say that one more time, Marcel. Say it one more time, Marcel. You gotta say that one more time. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. She becomes the person, the woman, the divine, feminine being who she was always meant to be. She is the beautiful, powerful butterfly, and we are all here in our uniqueness. Amen. To share something important. And we're holding it back. Yes. Because we're scared. Ah! And once we come into the reality and the power of that, and we can execute that in a corporate way, how does that power transform the world? Oh. Marcella, how does it transform the world, girl? Go ahead on, because I know you got it. Come on. In ways we can't even imagine. In ways we can't even begin to imagine. Again, infinite possibilities because we're standing in that truth and we're being the creator the creator created us to be. That's what I'm talking about. How's that? How has that improved your relationship with your marriage? Oh, you know, it's, it's helped me stand up for what I want. Mm. Instead of shutting down to make someone else happy. Amen. It's stepping into, you know what? These are my needs and these are my feelings. Mm. And this is what it is. And I'm going to share it. I'm not going to be afraid to share it because it's uncomfortable. And this is what I require because I'm a queen. Yes. Queen it up, baby. Love it. In and, all areas. And how has that transformed the way you do business? Because oh. now you speak your truth. Inspire. Inspire. I'm being in spirit and I'm inspiring. And when people are connected to that, when people feel mm -hmm. you speaking, they don't hear. Mm -hmm. When they feel you, like they're, it's, connect. I, I got to do this. This feels good. This is what I want to do. 
I love and it. to be able to even take it a next level and do it over on camera, mm. not just in person, but online to inspire people online. You have to. That's the way of the world now. Marcella, I love it because, hey, this is the new normal, whether or not you recognize it or not, you get ready for Zoom and virtual. This is it. This is our new normal. And how has that transformed the way people see you? See, because when you change and you become the person that God had created you to be and you're actually illuminated your inner power, how you show up to others change. How has that changed for you being now that you speak your truth? It up leveled me to be the leader who I'm meant to be. Yes. People want to follow. People want. I've. You don't know how many times I've heard. I want to be just like you. <laughs> Does that make you feel good? Come on, that gotta make you feel good. Oh, of course, of course, it makes me feel good. But I want them to be their highest and best self. I love it. I love it. You are operating in your highest and your best self you're creating wealth on the left and you're operating in your best self on the right and you have opulence the spirit in the middle you can't get better than that i think that's everything so i want to know there are actually a series of courses that people actually go through in this process can you explain a little bit because you actually are a um, woman speak leader so if someone actually wanted to get into your circle and they look under Pleasanton, they're actually going to see your name. So share with us, how can a woman be a part of your circle? Absolutely. Well, the good news is it's on Zoom, so the woman could be anywhere in the world. Amen to that. <laughs> My circle meets on the second and fourth Monday evening from 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific time every month. Okay. It's a 16-month curriculum. You can stay in it as long or as short as you want. Not only am I a leader, but I actually am also a member of another group, even though I've already graduated, because wow. I've, it's such transformative work. Wow. Practice, 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 right? And if someone's interested in checking it out, they can come to um, one of my circles and get the experience for themselves and see if it, it really is what I say it is and let me tell you it is <laughs> and can even more so come to your circle and just visit as a guest and yes experience what is can they do that yes yes okay that's great come be my guest okay 25 okay. bucks gets you in the door all right buckle up because it's going to be a fun ride well I'm definitely going to attend it's the second and fourth Monday from 7 to 9 Pacific and what is the link? How do they contact and how do they actually uh, enroll or reserve a seat in Women Speak? Just email me. Shoot me an email, marcella okay. at dirtisgold.com, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-A -L -L -A, at dirtisgold.com. Oh, my God. And we'll take it from there. I love it! Marcella, are there any last words, anything else that you would like to share to end this wonderful podcast. I can already tell we're going to have to do a part two. Any last <laughs> words going on? There's so much excitement to share. Yes. Just, you know what? Celebrate yourself. Yes. Celebrate where you are, what you've been through, who you are, yes. and just the possibilities that are available to you. They are already there for you. Know it. Believe it. Yes. Feel it. Embody it. Mm. And just be grateful for the grace that is given to us at all moments. Mm. Wake up grateful. Mm. Go to sleep grateful. Mm. And transmute yourself. I love it. The alchemist of your life. I love it. I love what you just said. Be the alchemist of your life. Wow. Oh, my God. Such inspirational wisdom. Thank you so much, beautiful queen, for being a part of my show. It has been so inspiring. Thank you. 
Oh, I love it. Thank you, Kim. I'm on fire now. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Oh, so fun. You are so amazing. You are a wonderful leader and podcast host and just really engaging and your energy is so uplifting. You can't help but bloom in your presence. <laughs> Thank you. I have to put in at least 60 seconds of this side note. We celebrate 25 years of business come Saturday, so I'm very excited. I'm illuminated on fire. Woo! So now in moving into May. Hey, I'm just looking for, hey, the creator, we're going to do some amazing things and you being a wonderful guest and more guests to come and more information to share. So thank you. And our goal is to transform and motivate the world. So yes. Thank you so much, my dear sister, Queen. Thank, thank you, my you. Dear listeners. And thank you for listening to Inspired Conversations with Kim Evans, your host, and Marcella Silver. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Blessings.